Hey, what's going on YouTube? It is LEGO Reviews 9 or 9er here, and in this video I'm going to be doing a review of the LEGO Minifigure Series 4 collection. So let's go ahead and get right into this. Alright, to start us off we have the hockey player. So here's your 360 view of him. And then you can see in his hands he is holding a hockey puck. which is just a normal black stud. And then in his other hand he is holding a hockey stick, which is really white. Uh, and then you can see his helmet retracts like so, up and down, kind of like a football helmet. And then he's also got two ice skates on the bottom of his feet right there. So that is the hockey player. Next up, we've got the crazy scientist. So there's your 360 view. You can see he's got some uh, really crazy hair, Albert Einstein hair. It's really cool. And then in his hand, he's holding a bottle with some sort of green liquid in it, which is really cool. Never seen this before. And you can see he's got some stains on his shirt right there. And he's wearing some protective glasses. So that is the crazy scientist. Here we have the sailor. It's a 360 view. And you can see in his hand, he's holding a telescope. And then you bring his hand down, and his eye is actually closed, so you have to mark it up perfect for with his eye just like that you can see his eye through there and he's also got a slanted hat which is really nice he's also got a suit so that is the sailor alright here we've got the ice skater and you can see she's got some pulled back hair with uh, bangs up in front just like that really nice hair definitely one of a kind and then she's also wearing a skirt that goes around only covers up half of her legs and then she's also got two skates just like the hockey player has so that is the ice skater next up we've got the werewolf I'll do a 360 view of him and then inside his hand he's holding a bone which is really nice and then he's also got the hair that has the pointed ears to make him look like a dog which is also a nice feature as well and then he's got sort of two different colored arms which is brown and white you can see he's got sort of an effect where his arm is ripped open and he's sort of changing into the werewolf itself so that is the werewolf alright next up we've got the soccer player you can see he's got a trophy that he's won inside his hand silver really nice comes on this little stand and then you can see his jersey that he's got on it says Octon nice hair Ron from Harry Potter hair and uh, yeah overall really nice figure that is the soccer player alright right here we have the street skater so there's your 360 view and you can see he's wearing a gray beanie with a brick on it which is a nice touch and then he's also got a really detailed skateboard of this city both sides of this there's the brick and you can see he can go on there just like that and ride down your your streets. So that is the street skater. Here we have Frankenstein. There's your 360 view. Uh, no particular accessories with him besides the fact that he has a little bit taller of a head. So if you go and take this off, this is basically like another hair piece. And you can see he's got little bandages right there and uh, really looks like Frankenstein. And uh, there's it almost overlaps his other face, so that is Frankenstein. Right here we've got the Musketeer. So there's your 360 view of him, and then here is the sword that he holds in his hand, really nice, really thin. And then his hat that he's wearing is uh, you can get it from the Pirates of the Caribbean series. And then here's a little fire piece that or a little feather that comes out of the back of his hat. So that is the Musketeer. Alright, right here we've got the Hazmat guy, at least that's what it's called on the website. Um, so he's got a retractable thing right here that comes off and I guess this is his de-infector gun or something. I don't really know a whole lot about this guy. You can see he's got that uh, crash dummy symbol right there it goes right back on there just like that and it covers his whole face 
So that is the hazmat guy. Right here we've got the kimono girl, kimono girl, I think it's called. Uh, she's got a fan in her hand, one of those uh, Japanese fans that you unfold, just like wave yourself with. And then it appears that she's wearing a dress as well. And then she's got some tied up hair with some flowers in it, really nice. So that is the kimono girl. Alright, right here we've got the Viking. And here's your 360 view of him. And you can see he's got a really nice shield inside his hand. Got some chains, some really nice detail to it. And he's also got just a simple axe, but still does the trick. And then he's also got a nice helmet that has these sort of horns on the sides. That, and they do come out just like that. And they point up just like that. So yeah, that is the Viking. Alright, right here we've got the Lawn Gnome. There's your 360 view. So he's almost as if he's a dwarf because he's got the small legs that don't bend. And uh, he's also seems to be wearing some sort of uh, Smurf beanie. This reminds me of the Smurfs just in green. And then uh, I don't know what the deal is with the fishing pole, but it's a nice touch. Because you don't really see fishing poles too often. And then he's also got a little mini beard to scare off those creatures that aren't wanted. So that is the lawn gnome. Alright, right here we've got the surfer girl. So here is your 360 view of her. And then you can see she's got some nice pulled back hair for surfing. Right there. And then she's also got a really detailed surfboard. Almost as cool as the guys from series 2. And then you can see there's two studs on there for her to stand on and surf. Just like that. Really cool minifig. So that is your girl surfer. Alright, here we've got the punk rocker. So here's your 360 view. And he's got some really nice hair. Look at that. Purple, spiked up, mohawk. Really cool. Really like that. And then he's also got a pretty wicked guitar too. See, just like that. So that is the punk rocker. And the last minifig inside series 4 is the artist. So there's your 360 view. You can see he's got that artistic hat on there just like that. And in his paintbrush he's got some green on there so it looks like he's dabbed it on there and gotten some green. And then he's also got a table looks like of paint, different colors of paint. And then if you take a look at his uh, front and pants you can see he's got some paint stains all over there so that is the artist alright guys well that concludes my review of the lego minifigures series 4 review this is lego reviews 909 here i'll see you all in the next review